Craig here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a screenshot. Now sooner or later somebody's probably going to ask you do a screenshot and show me what the error message is or what the problem is and you'll be like well how the heck do I do a screenshot? Now I'm going to show you the old boring slow method and then I'm going to show you the method that I use and you're going to be blown away by how cool this little feature is. Okay so first the old boring method. Now if you're on a desktop computer, on your keyboard, you're going to have a key that says print screen. You simply press it once and it will capture the entire screen. Now if you're on a laptop, you'll have to hold down this FN key, which stands for function. So I'm on my laptop, I'm going to hold down my FN key and press print screen. So what's happened, I've captured my entire screen and it's in my clipboard. So now I have to paste it into some kind of photo paint application now I have Photoshop but you know it's expensive and you probably don't have that but most Windows computers have paint so if you have paint you could come open up paint and then paste in what you captured you can obviously resize the image you know you could add some more details and then you would file and save as JPEG image and then send it to the person that wanted to see the screenshot so what I want to show you is what I use almost daily and it's a program called Dropler.com. They have a pro version and a free version. I personally only use the free version. Now with the free version you get one gigabyte of online storage and with this program you can capture screenshots, copy URLs, upload video files, audio files, documents, code, you name it. You can pretty much do it with this program. So all you have to do is register for a free account and you simply scroll down and if you have a Mac, install the Mac version or Windows, install the Windows version. So once you download the software and you log into your account, you're going to notice a new icon in your taskbar down here. And if we click on it once, you'll notice that this new like overlay dropper icon appears. Now this is entirely optional. If you don't want it there, you simply click on the icon again. Basically, it's just a shortcut to the options of Dropler. So let's say I wanted to create a screenshot. I simply now either right click this or right click the icon down here. And it's going to say grab a screenshot. So we click that once. And you'll see that it's kind of darkened out. And now we just have to kind of highlight the area that we want it to capture. So let's say I wanted it to capture this. And as soon as I let go, what happens is it captures the image and automatically uploads it to our Droplet account. And then it automatically adds the URL to our clipboard. So without doing anything, I can just paste in the URL into my browser or into an email if I was going to share it. And there we go. I can simply share the screenshot with whoever I like. But you can do many other things with this program. So I'm going to jump back over to my YouTube channel and let's say I wanted to share my YouTube channel URL with somebody but I didn't want to give them this long URL. So I've highlighted the URL. I'm going to right click and press copy. Now I'm going to come over to Dropler, right click and this time I'm going to select upload from clipboard. And it's going to recognize that it's a, a link and it's automatically going to convert it into a short URL. So I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to paste it in and you can see I have a short link here and when I go to it it's going to take me to my YouTube URL. We can also do many other things with this for example let's highlight all of this text here and we're going to copy it. This time we'll right click and we'll upload from clipboard and it understands that it, we have a load of text. So it's asking us, do we want to make a plain text file, a markdown file, a textile file, or a code file? Now this is pretty much plain text, so we'll stick with plain text and click upload. Should be already uploaded, so we'll paste that in. And there we go, there's the text that I copied. But let's say I wanted to share some code with somebody to do that, we simply do pretty much the same thing. So let's say I wanted to share this chunk of code with somebody. I could right click and press copy. 
and again we're going to upload from clipboard this time we are going to select the code and upload and we are going to paste in our new URL and this time you'll see that it's displaying it how code should be displayed because some programs you can't just paste code into an email because your email software program tries to read the code and convert it to what it should be. Now if you go back to droppler.com and you're logged in to your account it's going to show you all of the screenshots that you've captured how many times they've been viewed etc and you can, it's all organized but you have images audios videos notes links and files and it's running a little slow today but here you can see all of the screenshots that I've captured uh, this one's been viewed 22 times and if I click here it's going to load up the screenshot if I want to you know delete it or edit the title because you can organize this so it's easier for you to remember what was what uh, for example I have a video file that I didn't realize I even uploaded uh, this one here because this was an mp4 so if somebody goes to the URL well with Chrome anyway we can click on play now and it will start to play the video uh, we can also do audio this was just a test mp3 file I just uploaded and we'll play it and that works like that so I hope this video helped and that is how you can do a screenshot and instantly upload it online and share it with whoever you like if you have any questions or comments post them below if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this have a great day